Hello my dear student, how are you? So today we discussed a very important chapter for the CBSC class 8 that is the crop production and the management. This chapter is a very important for your board exam that means in the class 8. But this chapter uh, is very important to other class also because the crop production and management is general uh, basis of a biological uh, science. So today we discuss about the different uh, aspect in our agricultural field and today we discuss the crop and what is the different type of crop. So this chapter is very important. So we divided this chapter into a different days. So crop production and management. This is our two day class that is a day one. In the day one day, our syllabus is the agriculture practices and the basis of practice of the crop production. These two topic we discuss our two day class. So welcome all of the students to the Urnav Sir Biology class. Welcome to Sayom, Sindrila, Shatani, Koshani, Aniket, Shurashish, Gola, Rastin, Oluhav, Shomu, Shudipto, Dishari, Shomujit, Shubhujit, Oendrila, Hong Kong, Devarun, and Shiba Shomudito, Shotanu, Srijita, Devulina, Nirupama, Ishan, Krishna Shish, Aroshi, Shouresh, Roshmi, Promit, Debajgo, Shaptushi, and Shomujitke. So all of the students now carefully listen that this chapter is very important so after the day one uh, syllabus is completed in our today session we give some homework in the youtube description box please you download this file and complete all the homework in our syllabus in the day one and next day that means when the day two in our syllabus is that the preparation of the soil and the sowing, these two topics we discuss in some details in the day two. But in the day two, at first we give a mock test. That is the syllabus is the day one. And in the day two, day three, we discuss about the adding the manure and fertilizer. What is the difference between the manure and fertilizer? All of these things we discuss in that particular session. And also we discuss about the irrigation because irrigation is the most important step in our agricultural practices and in the day 4 that is the last day of this syllabus of the crop production and management that is the protections and weeds and also the harvesting. Krishna says uh, I think it is in your syllabus also so you please you carefully listen all of this topic because this chapter is very very important now to, uh, we go to our first day so in the day one uh, but in the another one that is a day five day also be there in there we discuss about the storage and foods from the animals so this chapter is divided into the five days and every topic we discuss in some more details okay so Today we start our day one. So in the day one we discuss that is the agricultural practice. Before we start this first topic, I give you one important information is that after this topic is completed now we discuss some questions as a quiz. What is the answer? Please you write down in your live chat box after this topic is completed. So please all of the student carefully listen all of this topic that is we discuss now. Right? So agricultural practice number one at first we discuss what is the agriculture? What is the agriculture? Agriculture is important techniques of the science. So it is the science or the practice of the farming. Number one. Another one, it is included the different aspect like 
the, the cultivation of the soil for the different type of growings of the crops because crops is the most important part of the agriculture but not only the crops and other things also be there in the agriculture that is the rearing of the animals to provide food there are ultimately different other products that you also be uh, taken from these animals so but at first the rearing and domestication of this animal is very important so in the agriculture not only the plants on also on, on the other hand the animals and their rearing is included into the agriculture part so agriculture is the basic science so many students are doing their honors degree in the agriculture science right so this is the agriculture in the plants and animals both is there you know the plant what is their characteristic features please you write down in the like chat box plant are the autotrophic or heterotrophic in nature write down in the like chat plant are the autotrophic in nature or heterotrophic in nature please write down in the like chat box okay anikit okay very good arushi at first the plant they produce their own food by the photosynthesis process so they are called the autotrophs so what type of materials are needed for the plant for the production of for their food because they can prepare their own food so why you are uh, giving some materials for growing uh, growth and their nourishment because plant are the autotrophic in nature but to water and minerals that is required for the plant growth that is we are supply in our agriculture different practices right so this is the agriculture but most important question are arise that is of what is the crop because crop cultivation is the important aspect of the agriculture so what is the crop crop means that is the when plants one plants of the same kind not the different type of plants also be cultivated but generally it is the same kind of plant like uh, in one field the wheat are ultimately cultivated in another field the rice are cultivated so when the plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at a one place on a large scale that is called the crop because you planted some two trees of the rice in your roof that time that is not the crop that crop ultimately cultivated into the large scale in the field not a small scale right and same kind of plants generally are grown and cultivated this type of question are very important in your science and fire exam onubhav clear you understand now so is that is a different type of crop is there right so we are now discuss the cropping patterns different type of crops is there one is the kharif crops another is the rabi crops but what is the difference that is most and most important question in your board term number one that is the kharif crops another one is the rabi crops but why are we are classify the crops into the two different categories according to their showing season these kharif crops are shown in the rainy season and rainy season means in the which month the june to september this type of plants or crops are called the kharif crops so it is the rainy season crops also it is called the kharif crops clear so rainy season crop kharif crops but you remember some example of the kharif crops like paddy like maize like soybean like groundnut and like the cotton all of this example is the kharif crops clear now the rabi crops rabi crops are shown in the winter season winter season you all always know that winter season means their month is october to march in that time they are sown some example most and most important example of rabi crops is that is the wheat that is the gram that is the pea that
that is a master and that is the ring seeds. These examples are the Ravi crops. So most important question arises in your CBC class 8 that what is the difference between the Ravi crops and current crops. This question is a hundred percent important in your school in everywhere in the India, not only in the UP, not only in the AMP, not only in the Bangalore, not only in the West Bengal, all of the region of the India, it is most important that difference between the Ravi crops and curry crops. That time you write down the first point, the curry cross zone is the rainy season, second point, the Ravi crops is sowing in the winter season, first point, second point, you write down as like current crops are sown in the June to September and the current crops in October to March, March is there in first swing. And third point, you give two examples. In current crops, example like the paddy and maize and the rabbit crops, example like the wheat and the grass. Right? You got it clear? Now, I will see. It is a cropping pattern, curry crops and the rabbit crops. So, this. now we discuss the basic practice of the crop production. Before we start this topic, at first we take a quiz on the first topic that is the introduction of the agriculture, introduction of the crops and, and the different types of crops or cropping pattern that is the rabbit crops and curry crops. Now you are ready for the quiz? All of the students, now you are ready for the quiz? Yes or no? You write down in the live chat box. In the first topic, if any doubts you tell me. Otherwise I start the quiz. And which student give the first answer? First input they are given in the live chat, they get a one point extra marks. But the option must be right. Okay, and if they give the wrong answer, but in first option, that time they also be punished the minus one marks. So first, you try to give your answer in the live chat box. So now we are start the first part. Now is the quiz time for the crop production and management CBC 8. Now, our first topic that is the agriculture practice and in the first question, that is the which of the following is a rabbi crops? You have the four options. A. Paddy, B. Groundnut, C. Maize and D. Linseed. You write down the right option in your light chat box like 1A, 1B, like 2A and 3A only write down the this type of option in your live chat box which student in first input in the live chat box they get extra one marks if the answer is right if they give the wrong answer but first in input they get minus one marks and minus one point right and after the uh, class is completed that after that you write some total marks total points you are get from that the quiz you write down in the comment box this point also be added in your marks clear so all of the student now i show the answer that is the option 1d after the showing the answer anyone do not input in the live chat box Question number two, during which time period the current crops are sown? Which one is the right option? Please write down in the live chat box. October to March, December to April, June to September, October to November, which one? And now the answer is C, June to September, right? This is the question number two in our quiz. Now quiz number, question number three. When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at the one place on a large scale, it is called, which option is the right? 
write down 3A, B, C, D, which one is the right option? The 3C is the right option which because you know when the plants are same kind and grow and cultivated at one place on a large scale, they are defined as a crop. And now the true and false is there. Which one is the true and which one is the false? You write down like 1, 2, F, 2, T, 3, F, R, T. And when you write down the 5 answer, after that you enter, press the enter button. Right? Single and single input is not applicable for the true and false. Show 1, write down true or false. Food is obtained from the both plants and animals. Question number 2. Crops like rabi and kharif. Crops like the rabi and kharif are classified on the basis of season in which they are grown. Question number 3. Maize is sown from October to March. Question number 4. The climatic conditions like temperature and humidity remain the same from one region to another. Question number 5. Crops like the cotton are sown in the rainy season and known as the rabi crops. Now we will put the answer very fast. Now I show the answer. Food is obtained from both plants and animals because we get the foods from plants and animals. So this is the true option. Crops like rabi and kharif crops classified based on the season they are grow. Right option so the true. Maize in zone from October to March. No, this is the false. So yes. The climatic condition like temperature and humidity remain same from one region to another. No, the region will have changed the temperature and humidity also with the change. Show the F. Crops like cotton are sown in the rainy season and they are also the rabi crops. No, this is not the right option. Show right option is the F. So this is the questions in our first topic. Right? After that, we are now studying the second topic. After the second topic is completed, we go to our quiz section, right? Okay. Now I start the our basic whiteboard. Now we discuss about the very important topic in our day one. That is the second topic. That is the basic practice of the crop production. So what is the different steps is there? Because when the farmer are cultivated in a, a cultivated a plant on the field, they follow the different steps. That is the basic practice of the crop production. So, what is this type of practice and what is the different steps? That is now we are discuss one by one. Number one step that is the preparation of soil. Preparation of soil is the first and most important step because you know. If the soil is infertile, that time plant does not grow. Because the plant takes the nutrient from the soil. So at first time, the preparation of soil is the most and first step of the basic practice of the crop production. So in here, to loosen and to turn the soil. Because sometimes that soil is very tight, that time you cannot put the seeds and they cannot grow on it. So loosen and they turn the soil. <coughs> and the second step <coughs> that is the sowing. It is the second step but most important step. In here we are ultimately planting of seeds of the crop in the soil. But the good seeds must be taken otherwise plant is not grown. So sowing is also the important step, the second step. Third step that is the adding the manures. Adding manures and fertilizer that is also be important because uh, when we are cultivating the plant in the large scale, that time all of the parts of the soil have not sufficient their nutrient. Plants do not take the do not get the sufficient nutrient. So the farmers are added the manures and fertilizer. Manure and fertilizer are very important step. In here adding the essential nutrient like nitrogen, like phosphorus, like potassium that is ultimately added to the soil for the growth and 
the development of the plant. When the plant take uh, get all this type of nutrient, that time the plant growth are optimal. So that is the most important step also. Next step that is the irrigation because you know that plant need the water. Without water, plant are wilting. So the irrigation is a very important step. In here, that is the supplying the water to the plants at regular interval. That is very important. You put this water and forget it for the one week. That time, plant will be dry. So the water must be supplied in frequently and in regular intervals. So this is the basic sub steps. But another sub steps also be there after the irrigation. The protection. Protection also be important. Plant growth are sufficient. But if the fungus, if the insect are attack on it, so the production of the crops is must be lower. So it is required to protection. Protection from weeds. And that means weeds means the unwanted plant is growing the field. So what is the disadvantage is that weeds when they are grown, they take the nutrient from the soil. So the main plant do not get the sufficient nutrient. So it is required to remove the weeds or protect from the weeds. So we are use some mechanical tools or some chemicals uh, weed sites to remove the weeds. So removal of unwanted plants and the, from the cultivated plants to allow the crops to get the sufficient or proper access to light, to space and to the nutrient. Not only the nutrient, the light and space also be important. So after protection, the harvesting. When your ultimate production is completed and uh, the plant products are grown completely, that time it is required to harvesting. How? The cutting the mature crops from the field. After harvesting, the most and most important step that is the storage. Because the production is very high, but if not stored scientifically, that time all of these products are damaged. So the storage is the most important step. So now keeping in very gardens or like produce the safe from the rats or some safe from the insect, some microorganisms and also the moisture because when the uh, grains like take the moisture the fungal growth is so common that time the lots of um, grains are damaged so you must be uh, keeping grains or produce safe from that rats, insect, microorganism and the moisture so that is some important steps right that is must be practiced in the agricultural process. Now we discuss the quiz. Now the quiz time. Now all the students are ready for the quiz for our second topic, basic uh, practices in the agriculture. Please write down in the live chat yes or no. Now the quiz time for the second topic of our day one crop management, crop production and management in the CBC 8. That is the basic practice of the crop production is the second topic on for first question in our quiz. The which of the following is the first step of activity of the crop production? Which one? Write down the live chat in the input showing the preparation of soil, irrigation and storage. Which one is the right option? In live session, all of the students please mention it. And uh, some students that do not attend the live session, so when they are showing the video, you please write down the right option in comment section because they are not in live. After the live session is completed, someone can see the video. That time you would also be input your answer in the comment section. But now, because it is the live, so you input is the live session in the live chat box. So I show the answer now. That is the first step. It is the preparation of the soil. Question number two. Which step is done after adding the manure and fertilizer? Which one is after? 
After adding the manure and fertilizer, question number two. Right? Please, first, in, give the input in the live chat box. Option 2C, that is the irrigation. And which is the last step in the agricultural practice? Which one is the uh, last step in the agricultural practice? Please write down the input in the live chat box. Now show I answer. Storage is the last step. Where the all the steps are completed is the final step. Question number four. Which among of the following is not an agriculture practice in plants? I give you one clue. That is in plants. So which among the following is not an, an agriculture practice in plants? Which one is the not? Please write the input in the live chat box. Right, that is the rearing. Rearing it is the case in the for animal. Animal rearing is the most important, right? So that is not in the plants. So our answer for D. So now our quiz error now completed. So today uh, we discuss the most important topic that is the introduction of the agriculture and what is the different type of crops and the basic some steps of the agricultural practice. So if any doubts or any question, please you write down in the comment box and I try to solve this problem and now thank you, thank you all of the students like Sion, Srindila, Shatani, Konikhe, Sorashish, Gaurav, Koshani, Rastik, Honubhav, Shohan, Shudipto, Vishari, Shomojit, Shubhojit and Vendrila, Ankon, Devarun, Shomojitto, Shutanu, Srijita, Devarina, Nirupama, Ishan, Krishnashish, Aroshi, Shobesh, Roshmi, Pramit, Devrago, Shaptoshi and Shomojit. So thank you, thank you all of the all of the students and which one is do not mention your, your name but they are also be welcomed in our Unausai bio class. So thank you, thank you very much and wish you the best of luck.